All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you. It is nine minutes with me from Rosie's Corner. It's a fish Friday, which is basically the equivalent of Christmas. It's basically the equivalent of Thanksgiving, Easter, uh, any possible holiday. They might as well just give... Uh, you folks at least a half a day off of work, right? So then you can just come right to Rosie's and get a fish fry. Get your sandwich, get your entree. Uh, you can pair it with the mac and cheese, the coleslaw fries, etc. And I just saw the case. All the pieces are coming out right now for lunch. So if you're in and around the central New York area, get on down here, grab the pizza, the wing combos. Remember, if you mention any pizza wing combo uh, and mention my name, <clears throat> you'll get a free ML Sports Platter t-shirt. You can get the subs hot and cold. And of course, all those delicious salads, mac and potato and their chicken salads, delicious all in the coolers as well and be sure to take some desserts to go the delicious cookies and brownies as well on Facebook on Instagram they deliver to you or via Grubhub all here at Rosie's Corner a proud ML sports platter sponsor let's break down the Bills and the Cardinals this weekend I, I tell you what I, I don't know I know the Bills played the Chiefs. It was a pretty big game, pretty hyped up game. Titans game was pretty big, but again, there were, there was uh, there were a lot of things going on during that time with the stupid COVID, you know, all that banana land stuff. When were they playing? When were they not? Was it going to be a Sunday, a Monday, a Thursday, a Tuesday? All that stuff's over with. And of course, when you have uh, a home game with the Chiefs, you don't have a, you know the fans and all that sort of thing. You have Mahomes. I, there were just some different thinking going into that game. <clears throat> a lot of people thought they couldn't keep up with the Chiefs. It was a one possession game. The Bills were actually in it, but you still felt like they weren't going to win it. I just have a very different feeling about this weekend's game against the Arizona Cardinals. I don't even know what the hell their state regulations are. I don't know if they're allowed to you know put 15, 20 percent of fans in there. I don't know. I don't care. I am so fired up for this game. <clears throat> I'm probably more fired up for this game this season for the Bills than any other game, period. More than the Patriots, more than the Chiefs, the Titans, any of the other ones that uh, they've had, uh, any of the division games of the Jets. I mean, come on, the Jets, the, 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 the Dolphins. Uh, this game is big time, man. And I think a lot of people around the country are getting a major feel uh, for this as well uh, because you have the quarterbacks. I think that's really where it starts. Both offenses, well, let's face it, you have quarterbacks, you have offenses, and you've got a bunch of weapons in an offensive league. And it starts right first and foremost with Kyler Murray of Arizona, who I think isn't getting enough MVP consideration right now. You have Josh Allen, who for four weeks was playing at an MVP level. Then he tailored off a little bit, and now he's back playing at an MVP level with his unbelievable shredding of the Seattle Seahawks defense and the great game plan from Brian Dable. And guess what? You're going to see a lot of the same game plan from both of these teams that they used last week and, uh, frankly, uh, you know, repeated weeks this season, you've got the Arizona Cardinals who run a ton of Cliff Kingsbury gadget stuff. They run a lot of read option. They run some pistol. They run some 10 personnel out of the shotgun with, of course, one back with Kyler Murray either on the left or the right. You've got the stud and DeAndre Hopkins, even though last week, uh, by the way, DeAndre Hopkins not targeted in the first half that much. Thank you. You screwed me on fantasy, Cliff Kingsbury, and I will never forgive you for that uh, because I uh, because I lost uh, in a game, in a matchup. I really should have won had Hopkins even done anything, just anything remarkable remotely decent I would have won in fantasy but uh, they didn't target him so again Cliff Kingsbury I will never forgive you for that uh, but you're going to see all those different things you're going to see all these different weapons with Arizona tons of speed uh, they're going to try to go down the field. They're going to try to beat the zone over the top. They're going to try to beat man. Uh, the Bills, of course, playing uh, kind of 50-50 zone man. You saw the Seahawks play a little zone man last week, but when they were in zone, it was a very important thing to watch. A lot of the CL corners, and I know that they were missing you know, their top corner, of course, and their safeties are brutal. That Seattle defense is horrific, by the way. But they played a lot of zone because they wanted to stay back a little bit and not give Stephon Diggs and John Brown the long ball. But that also hurt them a little bit because it was almost an indirect man coverage where you give them too much cushion. Stephon Diggs does a quick little thing, turns around, catches the ball. And bang, the Bills were chunk yardaging the Seattle Seahawks to death. Perhaps the Bills can do it again this week. But you're going to see a lot of those personnel packages from both teams. You're going to see 10 personnel on both sides. You're going to see four wide. I think from the Bills, you're going to put Zach Moss next to Allen on one side or the other or Devin Singletary. You're going to see the tight ends 
you know, kind of running around in different formations, perhaps to kind of use them as decoys. John Brown go deep. Stephon Diggs go deep. DeAndre Hopkins go deep. Both of these offensive lines are pretty solid. And by the way, big news out of uh, Bill's uh, uh, territory here is that they appear to be pretty healthy on the line. I mean, you get, you know, Cody Ford has been banged up the last couple of weeks, should be in there. John Feliciano's obviously been playing amazing since he's been back. And Mitch Morris looks like now that he's out of concussion protocol, he's been practicing with the Buffalo Bills this week, he should be a go as well. That's a huge deal for Josh Allen, huge deal for the Buffalo Bills offense because now you can put Mitch Morris right at his natural position at center. You slide John Feliciano uh, right out over to the right, and then you, of course, have Cody Ford uh, on the left with Deion Dawkins and company. I think this is a big deal for the offensive line to be healthy. What's the game plan for the Bills? It's the same exact thing you did last week. Don't try to play keep away. Josh Allen showed you last week. And by the way, Russell Wilson, despite the fact that he had a ton of turnovers, they still scored 34 points. How scary is that? But Josh Allen, look, he just showed last week that he can out Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, going into that game, was an MVP favorite by many NFL pundits. Now you're going up against Kyler Murray, who I think should get more consideration for the MVP. I think Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers are probably 1-2 here. But why doesn't Kyler Murray get more talk in terms of the MVP? Here's a guy who was the only offense up to a certain point that was able to outduel Russell Wilson. They were able to top Seattle on Sunday Night Football. What a great game that was. Kyler Murray is unbelievable. He's dynamic. Every single time you watch this guy play, he seems to bring something else to the table. He's unbelievable. It's like watching a magician. You think he's all out of tricks, and then the next thing you know, a, a bird flies out of his bag. Or perhaps he uh, you know, has a salt and pepper shaker, and he's shaking them back and forth, and voila, it turns into uh, you know, a couple of bottles of soda or something. It, it's mind-boggling what goes on with Kyler Murray. And, of course, Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury coming from the college gadget play world and uh, all the stuff that they run, it, it's unbelievable what they're able to do. But don't hold back. Don't hold the ball. Don't go ball control, possession, time of possession. Uh, you know, go down the field, use the clock, keep the ball away from Kyler Murray, kick some field goals, points, just any kind of points are okay. No way. Go after it again. Throw the football. Josh Allen showing you that he can outdo one of the best quarterbacks today and perhaps one of the best quarterbacks we've ever seen against Russell Wilson last week. You have the momentum. You know you can run four uh, wide. You know you can run 10 personnel. Throw the damn ball. Throw it to Diggs. Throw it to uh, Beasley. Throw it to John Brown. Go long. Go short. Throw screen plays. Get the offensive line out in the wide open territory. Get those big horses blocking in front of the screen play running backs in Singletary and Moss. Throw the ball to the tight end. Utilize Gabe Davis in the end zone up top. I mean, get these guys the football. I want to see Josh Allen throw the damn thing 40 to 50 times in this game, and I am not even kidding. I would go right out the chute and... Go four wide. Run the 10 personnel. Now, look, do you need a little bit of defense at some point to win football games? 100%. Last week, the Bills were able to get a lot of turnovers from Seattle. Of course, Seattle, as I mentioned, scoring 34 points. But the Bills were able to get multiple sacks. Remember, Jerry Hughes, the strip. Trey White uh, recovered. You had Trey White with the interception. The Bills were good enough. They weren't great on defense, but they were just good enough to win the football game. And eventually, the Bills are going to need to do that as well if they're going to make a deep playoff run. Again, defense doesn't just win championships anymore. That used to be the old cliche defense helps win championships it's the offense that wins the championship and you you need a little bit of defense you got to be remotely good not elite or great to help you win a championship just look at the Kansas City Chiefs last year they were just good enough but it was the offense down double digits that came back against the Texans the Titans and the 49ers of the Super Bowl if they didn't have that dynamic offense if they didn't have Andy Reid if they didn't have Eric Bieniemy and Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey and all these guys in the hill uh, they wouldn't have been able to come back that's if Sammy Watkins that's the bottom line but they did because the offense defense just be good enough man this game is an unbelievable game it's a coin flip in my opinion good morning football uh, Peter Schrager said it was a game of the week Kyle Trask said it was a game of the week and I agree give me Buffalo 41-38 in another shootout with Josh Allen and Kyler Murray. Get on down here to Rosie's Corner. It is Fish Friday. Pizza, wings, you name it. Salads, pastas, hot and cold subs and more. Order the American Burger. That's damn good too. Jason, Jody, and the gang crushing it. They'll deliver it to you or get it via Grubhub. I'm Mike Lindsley. Thanks for watching 9 Minutes with me, Facebook, IGTV, and YouTube. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.